And welcome back everyone taking you outside. This is your wire not camera. I pointed this northwest towards uh, Pikes Peak. Just a gorgeous evening in Colorado Springs and uh, there's the 14 er off into the distance and just a cloud deck sitting over Teller County. Not producing any snowfall quite yet, but that will be changing uh, a couple flurries for Divide and Woodland Park and even through uh, Highway 24 in Southern Park County could be seeing some light flurries, but I don't anticipate anything sticking to the road overnight tonight. Accumulation is pretty minimal uh, except for into the Sangres and the San Juans. Those places are getting some heavy snow. Snowfall. I'll show you the snow accumulation forecast in a bit. 48 degrees in the springs. We max out at 55, 53 in Walsenburg. Today was right on average uh, for temperatures at least. Our wind speeds made it feel quite a bit cooler out there. Uh, we were gusting to about 30 miles an hour for pretty much the entire day, uh, pushing our wind chills into the high 30s and low 40s. But overnight tonight, we'll barely break freezing in El Paso County. 42 for Lamar residents. It's a chilly one out in Gunnison. 27 for Alamosa. And uh, for our overnight wind speeds, finally starting to calm down. It's been a windy 24 hours for us, but uh, that will change here in a bit. Uh, 21 miles an hour out in Lamar. Uh, Lamar was actually hitting gusts at 60 miles an hour yesterday night, and uh, they've been gusting to 40, 50 miles an hour for about the past day and a half, and uh, those winds will still be pretty breezy for your Monday forecast, but by Tuesday and into your Wednesday, calming down slightly. So uh, very windy out in the plains still uh, for the next 24 hours, but you'll calm down midweek. Nothing on the radar, at least what we can see out of the uh, Pueblo National Weather Service radar site. Uh, once we go to the composite mode, you can actually start to pick up some of those snow flurries out west. Heavier snow accumulations just to the west of Alamosa. Wolf Creek Pass still looking at about a foot of snow overnight tonight, so I wouldn't be traveling west of Alamosa. But Colorado Springs, we're staying mostly dry for our overnight hours as the precipitation stays up into the mountains. So notice Canyon City, you're coming pretty close to dealing with snowfall, but I think uh, the mountains are more likely to see the snowfall. Not so much the uh, Canyon City or Florence area, but uh, 8 o'clock tonight, maybe a quick snow flurry off in Salida. Those snow bands will form through the Sangres, the northern half of the San Luis Valley. Uh, Salida just on and off snow flurries tonight. Heavier snow totals uh, across the collegiate peaks. And uh, then you're going to get another burst of snow uh, for Alamosa. I put you at about an inch of accumulation over the next 24 hours, so it's not going to come down all that heavy, but you'll see some snow out there uh, for tomorrow. Colorado Springs, our best bet for a quick little rain snow chance is early tomorrow afternoon. It'll be quick moving, so I don't anticipate many problems. Mostly sunny skies actually for our Monday forecast and cooler temperatures. Colorado Springs, we're doing fine, but the northern half of El Paso County uh, through the Palmer Divide, they'll be seeing some low clouds up into Monument and then Albert County, a quick little snow chance, but really nothing accumulating. This is overdone in Canyon City. I put you at less than an inch. This is just a computer model run. Uh, it's seemingly the resolution isn't great, but half an inch in Alamosa with heavier snow uh, for west of Alamosa. Got to fly through these. Unfortunately, 61 degrees for your high temperature tomorrow in La Junta. And we're in the mid 50s in Colorado Springs. Woodland Park at 41 tomorrow afternoon. Temps fluctuating in the high 30s and low 40s. So a fall like week ahead. We're actually below average uh, for the next six or seven days for our high temperatures. Canyon City at 51 by Tuesday. And relatively dry streak from Tuesday into our Sunday forecast. Tomorrow is the next best chance for a quick little chance of rain and snow in Colorado Springs. Not so much in Pueblo.